Air filter came in. So, I need to put it on. That'll work. Should work pretty good. Just a little flathead. But it's just one of those clamps. It's a flathead. So they're screwed pretty easy. My new air filter. I don't know if you can see. But you can actually see light through it. When my other one, I couldn't hardly feel air coming through it. So I was like, that's not a good thing. So I'm just like letting it warm up so then I can do like kind of a, like listen to it now. And I'll listen to it when my, when my new air filter's on it. So I don't know what the heck this is. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. I hope it will sound a lot better than it does. So it doesn't like it doesn't feel like I have very much power like when I go up the hill to up to my neighbors I just don't feel like it has like hardly any power so maybe it'll have maybe it'll perform better just now that it's got this new air filter so yeah hopefully it performs better okay so this is what it sounds like when it, with the old air filter So it doesn't sound that bad. Now we'll do it with the new air filter and see how much better it is. First thing is you gotta take the seat off, which this process anybody should be able to do. Like taking the whole replacing an air filter. Anybody should be able to do that. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. Stay. For, this is a player Sportsman 500. I think it's like an a uh, a 90, 98 or 96 or something, something like that. But I don't think this air filter's ever been replaced. It's like really old. Like that's all greasy and wet and gross. I just cleaned the bottom of it out, so the bottom's not too bad. I just warmed it up, so... So we could do, like, a good test. Okay. See, now there's still like some grime and crap in there. This stuff gross. There's a lot of it scrapes out. It's like dirt. Okay. And this is the nice new air filter. It came with a nice new clip too, so won't need that. Hopefully it fits. Uh, yep, she fits. She fits good too. Crap. Take that back off. Clamp's on backwards. The clamp was on like this way, so when I put it on, no, it was on this way. The other way. Whatever. But it has to be this way. This is the old air filter. Yeah, it's not 
<laughs> it's had better days. And you could see, I can see a tiny bit of light coming through, but not, no, <laughs> not very much. This cover was on there, but I'm not going to put that back on. Um, but, like, this is, like, alright, look at this, look at that, it's all greasy, and that was just from grabbing onto this, this thing is, uh, it's seen better days, yeah, I'm gonna clean, I'll probably end up keeping this, though, this clamp, so I did tighten it all down, it's in there good, um, so, you guys should put the, um, thing back on, the airbox cover back on. Just push those over. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just gotta grab the seat and put it back on. Okay, just gotta throw the seat back on now. Um, I just put the seat back on. He just, uh, he fixed my, uh, cause when we got all the snow, we went down to my grandmother's and I started cleaning one of her cars off. And, uh, I snapped his, his broom thing. Well, I snapped it. I broke the little brush right off of it and he, he wasn't very happy, but he bolted it back together. Alright, you ready? That runs so much smoother. here in the video but it's running a lot better right now i'm happy nice air filter for you that's for doing all the good work i still haven't quite gotten my uh uh and that goes right there my uh fuel like knob i still have not put that back in from when we took because Something, somehow, some dirt got into my gas can, ah, well, gas tank, and the line goes down into the shutoff valve, and so we just bought a whole new one of those. I still have the old one, for some reason, but I still have not, and we took the whole gas tank out, which, that was hard. We had to take this front rack off, this off, this whole front plastic off, this piece off. And then these side panels, the seat, then we had to get the whole gas tank out and drain it and clean it out with some uh, more gas, but that was actually, that was pretty hard. But I still haven't gotten a new bolt to uh, pop that back on yet, but one day I'll get, it. one day I'll get another bolt for it, but I mean... It doesn't really matter. I never shut my fuel off anyways. I mean, if I was shutting my fuel off like I used to have to, I would not be, um, I would not have that without thing. Because it used to leak fuel all, because I used to have it at my grandparents' garage, like, down at their house in their garage, because I used to always ride it down there, because they have, like, a road. Oh, my God. There we go. I couldn't get my keys cut clipped on. Um, so yeah, they have a pretty long road that we could 
ride on. But, um... <sighs> But yeah, that was pretty fun riding down there. But I almost think it was from their gas can because their gas can's like really old. Um, but yeah, I want to do some more trail riding this year. Um, yeah, I gotta go put away my neighbor's trash. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I just gotta go put away my uh, neighbor's trash. That's gonna be fun. Well done. That wasn't that bad. I just like went up there and there's like this weird black van parked out front of the na my neighbor's house, and there was like um there was a car up there with its trunk open. There's like no sign of people. It was just weird. Like the black van was parked out in front of the house. I was like, uh, should I even go do this right now? Or, but whatever, I'm fine. I'm back. Got it all put back. I gotta do an invoice for my neighbors though. For uh, their trash recycling and plowing stuff. But yep, gotta do that. Well, we got all the trash and recycling all put back, and I feel much better. How oh, there's the van right there. I want to show you it. Uh, it's actually a burgundy. I thought it was black. Yeah, huh. I don't know, it's just weird. But, whatever. <laughs> I guess it could not. It's probably not a weirdo. Probably just, uh, someone's car. Yeah. Put your tool back. Tools back. When you use them. Um. Or, uh, your bench will start looking like slob. Um, yeah. This and that was from the weekend. Because I, uh, I changed out a plow, my plow bracket. I'll show a clip of that. Right after this clip. But, yeah. You need to keep your, uh, your workbench clean. Yeah. You need to keep your workbench clean, clean guys. Or it's gonna start looking really messy. My workbench, my drawers are pretty nice and clean, so I keep my stuff pretty clean, guys. Well, except for this uh, acid for my battery. I didn't even, yeah, I don't even know if you guys knew that I got a new battery for my uh, four wheeler, but no, I did. It starts a lot better in colder weather now, because it wasn't starting very well. My brother always like had to jump me and stuff, but. No, he doesn't. But yeah, I cut this. Um, should hopefully go in. Yep, there we go. Um, uh, throw this back on. I don't really need to put this on, but I'm just doing it. Okay guys, um, this is going to be the end of today's video, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and, um, I'll see you on the next one, have a nice night guys.